Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Daisy Marquez palette. <laughs> well anyways, it's so beautiful. I created this look with it and yeah, look how nice it is. So let's just get right into it. Alright, so here is the package it came in. This is from BH Cosmetics, the Daisy Palette, Daisy Marquez. So we're just going to open it now. My scissors broke. So it comes like this. And it just shows you everything. I think I'm going to try to recreate this look right here. It's so pretty. So yeah. I've been waiting for this. I ordered it like the day it came out and I just got it today. And it is March. What's today's date? 14th? 15th I think maybe. Yeah the 15th. Pretty. Ah. So let's open it up. It's so pretty. Wow. My friend had told me like the pans are a lot smaller than they look in per than they look in pictures, and that is so true. It's like the size of a nickel. Not even a quarter, like a nickel. But they are so pretty. <laughs> like kids makeup. I don't know. I like smelt it as soon as it opened. So I'm going to swatch a few. I'm going to swatch Royalty. <gasps> it's so creamy. Wow. That's super pretty. Karma. Wow. Lucid and Dream. Wow, those are beautiful. Flowers, because we're her flowers. And daisy. Passion fruit. And icy. Flowers. That's so pretty. This is daisy. Ooh, girl. This is passion fruit. Wow. And this is icy. Oh, my. Oh, I forgot that you can, like it like this so it can be like a little vanity that is so cute and i saw someone put like their light right here like the little, little ring lights that would be so cute so yeah let's get into it we're gonna try to re recreate this look so yeah let's just go right into it so i'm gonna prime them with the makeup revolution uh eyeshadow base <laughs> they say this is like compared to the p louise i don't know i've never tried the p louise i really want to but it's so much. No, it's like ten dollars, but the shipping is like what gets you. It's like ten more dollars for shipping, and it's like, is it even worth it? I don't know. Is it? Let me know. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Passion Fruit in the crease. There's a little bit of like fallout when you press it. Do you see? It's like kind of in the package, right? Look. But I don't really mind. It's so pigmented, like you can see it on the brush. So we're just gonna go ahead and Pack that shade in the inner, in the lid, on the lid, in the crease. I can't even talk. And we're gonna make like a circle, half a circle. So far, it's really nice. 
very pigmented like you don't even need to like really pack it one little pack is enough so far this is so nice and like blend the edges I'm not trying to go any higher than I already went I'm just going right on the edge and buffing it out so it's not so harsh I'm going to go in with this shade called Vintage. I haven't used BH shadows in like a really long time since I like barely started makeup. I had like that 88 color. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so you just blend this edge with that orange shade. It's going to look crazy at first. I'm going to go back in with the passion fruit and just bring that color back out. Morphe Y15. I'm going to go on that outer edge with the color flower. This is really pigmented. Wow. I'm just taking this clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend. I'm going to cut it with the um, ColourPop concealer. Spray my brush with some Mac Fix Plus and go in with the shade Icy. Now I'm going to go back in with that shade Bittersweet and Passion Fruit and just darken that outer corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back with both eyes. Now we're going to go ahead and start the foundation. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. So I'm going to go in with the Revlon Can Candid? Candid? Candid foundation
sweet right under the water line. I'm gonna go in with passion fruit and just barely blend that out. Now I'm just gonna go in with this Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Vanilla. And that is the finished look. Overall, I really love the palette. It is beautiful. It blends beautiful. It's so affordable. I paid $19 for this. I think now they might be $24. But either way, that's a really good deal. And yeah, I think y'all should go buy it. I recommend it. I love Daisy. And I'm not saying that it's good because I like her. Because like she probably won't even see this. But like I really think it's good. And I think it's worth the money. Like look what I just created. I love this. Like this quality is so good. So yeah. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews about it. But honestly I really like it. The... Like, I don't even know. There's so many looks you could create with this. Like, I want to try something with these colors. Those are really pretty. So if you want to see another look with this palette, let me know down below. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Wait. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will leave all my links down below for my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.